can come to easily learning simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to be learning from two monematics, and our topic for the day is linear motion. We are going to be looking at relative speed, but for bodies that are approaching all. When we talk about bodies, it can be people, cars. We're going to look at examples and see how we do that. So when we consider relative speed and consider two bodies that are approaching each other as different speeds, so their relative speed is the sum between the individual speeds, which is going to be a bit contrary when we talk about bodies that are overtaking each other. So for example, we have this question. Let's look at it slowly and work it out and interpret. Interpretation in relative speed is very important. So a truck left Nyeri at 7. So I'm going to draw a makeshift of Nyeri with a line. So this is Nyeri at 7. So the truck left Nyeri at 7 at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour at 8. So if, if, if the, dis the distance is going that way because I know you get to Nairobi here. So at 8, a bus left Nairobi. So this bus leaves Nairobi at 8 at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. So remember, this lorry that had already left at 7 o'clock has already covered a certain distance by the time this bus is leaving Nairobi. So let's consider that first. And then how far Nyeri did, from Nyeri did the vehicles meet if Nyeri is 160? So the distance between Nyeri and Nairobi is 160 kilometers. So as I said, let's look at our truck. How much distance? Will it have covered by eight? You know, that one hour that it has traveled earlier than the bus, where will it be when the bus starts traveling? So we are going to do that by taking the time. So the time is one hour. And then we have the speed, which is 60 kilometers per hour. So we can be able to get the distance, which is a Uh, times time times speed, which gives us 1 times 60 kilometers per hour. This is 1 hour, which gives us 60 kilometers. So this, this truck will have gone for 60 kilometers. So by the time, for example, this is 60 kilometers, by the time the bus is beginning, basically it will have covered 60 kilometers. So this is where it is at 8 a.m. So the remaining distance is going to be 160 kilometers minus 60 kilometers, which is going to give us 100 kilometers. So this distance that is remaining is 100 kilometers. Now this is the distance we want the both cars to we want to calculate where they are going to find each other. And we use relative speed. And we said the relative speed for bodies that are approaching each other is addition. So you take the first speed, which is 60 kilometers per hour for the truck, plus the bus. The speed is at 120 kilometers per hour. So the speed is going to be 180 kilometers per hour. The distance that they are covering from 8 p.m. together is 100 kilometers. So if you were to look at the time they, uh, they, they, they met, it's going to be time is equals to distance, which is 100 over 180, which is going to be uh, 10 over 18 so by 2, 5 by 2, 9. So it's 5 over 9 hour later. So if we were to look at the distance now, the track covered 5 over 9 hours later, then we will be able to see where actually they met. So distance is equal to time times speed 
and our time is 5 over 9 and the speed of the truck is 60 kilometers per hour. So this is going to be by 3, 3, by 3, 30, so by 3, 1, by 3, this is 20. So we have 5 over 3 times 20, this is the same as 100 divided by 3, which gives us 33.33 kilometers. So after that 3.33 kilometers, this is 33. That is the distance between where it was at 8 a.m. to where they met. So if you were to calculate the amount, the distance the truck had covered from beginning, so initially they had covered 60 kilometers, and now it has covered 33.3 kilometers. So it means they are going to meet at 93.3 now kilometers from Nyeri. If you are asked to calculate from Nairobi where they met, basically you will take your 100 and 60 minus 33. 0.33 so 160 minus 33.33 .33 will give you 126.67 so in this direction here we meet at the distance between this is 126.67 Right, another example, the last one, a motorist left Embu for Nairobi, so let's show that, Embu, Nairobi, so this distance is 240 kilometers at 8, so he left at 8, at an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour, another motorist left Nairobi and traveled at an average uh, for M at 8.30 at 100 kilometers per hour. What time they met, how far they met from Nairobi. So this is Nairobi, this is M. So you start with 8.30, this first motorist. So those 30 minutes or a half an hour, let's see how much distance you will have covered. So distance is time times speed which is 90 which gives us 45 kilometers and the distance the whole distance is 240 so 240 minus 45 will give us 195 kilometers so this is where like their starting point at 830 all of them this is what they are trying to cover both of them so the relative speed is going to be 90 kilometers per hour plus 100 kilometers per hour which gives us 190 kilometers per hour and then time uh, distance that they are trying to cover is 195 kilometers so the time is going to be distance which is 195 divided by relative speed which is 190 so 195 Divide by 190, so it will be 5 by 5, 39, and then 190. If you divide 190 by 5, you will get 38. Let's call this hours. You can continue doing uh, more calculations, and then um, let's calculate now the distance of the first motorist how far he had uh, had uh, traveled so the speed is 90 kilometers per hour times the time which is 39 over 38 
which becomes 90 times 39 divide everything by 38 and you will get 92.37 kilometers so that is the time the distance that you will have traveled So the total distance from the motorist so far, remember initially I had gone for 45, so it's going to be 45 plus 92.37. So 45 plus 92 kilometers point three seven will be 137.37 km. So the remaining distance is 240 minus 137.37 which gives us 102.63 this is the distance now from Nairobi to meeting point and remember for the time 39 over 38 is the same as 1, 1 over 38. So this is 1 hour and 1 over 38. So 1 over 38 times 60 is, these are the hours. So if you add, we are starting from 8. From 8.30, because 8.30 is where we actually got the, the, we used the relatives and the distance. So this is like one hour and around like two seconds. One minute, two, so one hour and this is like 1.0 three so it's one hour and three minutes so it's going to be nine thirty three uh am that's when they met basically so that brings us to the end so check out more revision questions and notes on the app uh, on the same especially this is a very commonly tested question so you can check that out and practice. So see you in the next lesson.